Hey everyone, Corey here coming in to do our weekly channel message um, and, and energy update. And this one's for February 27, 2023. Um, there is a, we have a lot of transitioning energy that's going to be taking place in March. There, March has definitely got a shitload of stuff going on. And I want to say, like, Coming into March, um, this may be more as a, a monthly, this may lead into a bit of the monthly message as well, which will also be posted here on YouTube as well. But um, as we're coming into March, March is truly about this, um, like this big transition. There's some big shifts that is taking place that is happening that um, it can feel already, can feel that change. And um, and I, I really want to, really emphasize this though, because you get a whole lot of this. If you have not been putting the work in, you're going to find yourself right back at the beginning. You know, you're not going to be able to be able to, you know, ascend or awaken or anything like that. And I'm like, that's not true. And so what it truly is and how we see that energy come through or how I get that message for us is you know, is we are all, we are all here on a journey. And on this journey, we all go through our phases and stages of life as we are, as we become the person that we need to be, to be able to walk through those journeys. And so not, you know, it does that whole, I'm like, there's a little bit of spiritual snobbery, 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 snobbery that happens sometimes um and just well snobbery in general that just takes place of i'm there and you're not and i'm going to be here and you're going to be left behind it's not that anyone is left behind what what we really truly are here to do is to be able to recognize to um integrate that sense of knowing where we have been our imperfections, our flaws, all of those things that have impacted, influenced, and affected our choices and decisions. So as we move into March, and as we shift into even more into even into April, the energy and the energy as I'm seeing this, or as I'm seeing this vision come through, is this sense of, um, of how do I put it? of awareness, maybe, of a sense of awareness of, of who and what we truly need to be to be able to live our best life. And so it is the awareness of narcissistic tendencies. It is the awareness and it's the awareness of uh, unhealthy situations. It's the awareness of of influences upon our lives that have impacted our choices and decisions, but that often you may have been making choices and decisions built on being that sense of shaming and guilting yourself rather than being able to fully trust yourself and just say, that just doesn't really align to me. So, um, so this shift, this big shift that's happening feels like it's like we're going from one world into the next. And so it's it's that sense of being prepared and ready to be able to shift these shift into this new world. Well, the new world is the world we create. So if you've already been doing the work, if you've been working on you, if you've been doing what needs to be done for you, then you would have been you would have been preparing yourself to be able to start to make some changes in your life, to maybe be able to move on from, you know, unhealthy situations or to be able to do a, take a leap of faith to shift jobs and careers. If not, then, and you've been saying, I've been waiting, I've been waiting for this right time, right moment, um, waiting for the right moment to have this conversation, writing for, well, there's never a right moment. There's just a moment. And so I feel like for some, it's those moments have arrived and there's just this burning desire to just get it out. Just say what needs to be said. Just say the things that you need to say. Others is um, the sense of, I don't, I don't care about changing my world. I don't need to change my world. I'm okay with my world. And that sometimes is just simply okay. If you're okay 
with where you are, it's okay to be okay. It's okay to sometimes say, you know what, this is, this makes me happy. This fills my soul. And, and I don't, I find this contentment. And sometimes I look in at those who have, you know, found that peace and contentment within themselves and just say, you know, that's such a beautiful thing to be able to find that contentment. And so there is a lot of outside influence, which is coming from ego and not from the divine to sometimes, you know, push yourself out of a world or out of an energy or out of a place where you're actually truly content. Now, doesn't mean that you might, you might not be content a year from now, you might not be content 10 years from now, but at this moment, you may be content. So as much as there's this influence that is saying, oh my God, there's this big shift and the world is changing and you got to jump on board and you're going to do this. And this is what's happening. It's not all about everybody. And we are all on separate journeys. And so as we come into March, what we're seeing is I am seeing like pieces separating, like leaving this sense of kumbaya collective energy of we all have to do this we all have to be this and I'm seeing a more individual energy so I feel like there is a shift in this individuality um awareness of of finding your own voice and the own individual self and um it's just like the tides are coming in and I just see things washing away and I just see like whatever has the weak foundations and that that loose fitting, that loose grounding, like the loose, the loose energy is just like being swept out into the seas, out into the ocean. So whatever's not locked in, locked down, is going to be like washing away. And so this sense of just being able to know that as an individual and to be able to think on an individual level, to be able to be that individual doesn't mean that we are not a part of, you know, of good things to come or that you're not going to be receiving the good things because you're not jumping on, you know, the magic carpet ride of, of what you're being sold is, is this sense of, um, yeah, no, I'm good. And I just, what's meant for me is going to come to me. And that's such a truth. What's meant for me, what's my divine destiny requires me to be an individual requires me to be my authentic self, requires me to be honest to my, honest with myself, requires me to be this, this sense of um, loyal to what really truly is what I value at this moment, what I, you know, what means the most to me. So the sense of your core value. And so there's a lot of agendas that are this, that are being presented. And I feel like we're seeing uh, an exposure of a lot of the agendas and what those agendas were and why groups, you know, why we see so many big groups and this collective energy saying, let's go this way. This is what you have to do. This is how you're supposed to be. Um, this is going to be happening. If you're not here, then you're going to miss the boat. If you're not doing this, then you're going to miss out on that. It's like, no, you're not. You're not going to miss out on anything that is truly, that is truly destined for you. Because nobody can steal, nobody can take your destiny. Nobody can take your place in your destiny. Nobody can take that. It is there for you. And so that energy is speaking to me on a like a big platform. Like I just see it like it's like it's a, it's being served on a platter type of thing. And it's like I have this being served in this platter. And it's like, yeah, there is like I'm seeing two worlds. I'm seeing, I'm seeing lives, right? I'm seeing these two these two entities, these two lives. And it's like, there's this positive and negative, this pull. And so it's like the ends of a battery. And then I see this in between and the sense of being able to be charged and, and regenerated and regeneration and being able to really truly recharge. So March this, this week and coming into March, I feel like we're still in like this, being able to recharge, reset, um, reprogram ourselves to really truly get into an individual way of thinking again to be able to think for ourselves and like I said this there's a huge there's huge pandemic on narcissistic tendencies it is huge 
And we all, and in my first book, More Than Existing, I, I speak about it in one of the chapters that we all have, we all have narcissistic tendencies. We all have, we all have a good, bad, and ugly side. We all have that essence. But we also all have a, a driving force, a passion and desire. And so if that passion and desire and that driving force is based on fear and just being afraid and feeling like you feel obligated, like you have to get going, you have to do things, then you're going to be doing it for all the wrong reasons. So being aware of that, recognizing that for yourself and recognize that it's okay to be content. It's okay to be content that you don't always have to be on the move. It doesn't mean movement is not happening. It doesn't mean transitioning that you're not transitioning through, you know, changes within your life because whether, whether you know this or not, like really think about this when people say, oh, you never change or, you know, or if you keep saying, I fear change, well, everything is always changing, including you. Every moment you're changing, a, a, you know, a slough of skin falls off and a new skin cell is regenerated. Like there's just this, there's always this new, so change is happening with or without you. So, you know, if you, if you recognize that and just say, you know what, change is happening regardless. And I just don't feel the need to get, to get trampled in the crowd because there is, I just see like this crowd of people, this swarm of people that are just like, and just like toppling over each other to get out, to get into this new world, to get into this new place. And I just see this, like this swarm of just like, just like bees, right? And so this living organism. And so I just see this swarm of people and everybody's running to get to this place. But if you just sit back, let the crowd pass, let the crowd get all caught up and then start to walk, just start to journey, just start to do the things that you need to do. I'm willing to bet you may make it there faster than the people who are in the rush to get somewhere. Because where are we actually going? What's the rush? What is always the big rush? Because the only place we're going in the end is out, right? There's, there's only one ending. We only have one true ending in this human life. And there's only, and there's, and that is the absolute end of our time as this one human. So don't be afraid to stay with your human. Don't be afraid to stay with you. Stop feeling like you have to disconnect from you and separate from yourself and be able to find our way in. And I just finished having this conversation about how, why is it, how come when we even look at healing, we look at like, we got to consume something and we got to detach and separate from ourselves in order to be able to stay with ourselves. How do we learn to stay with ourselves if we don't learn how to become one with the self and to be able to know this self, know thyself, know thyself, know that version of thyself, get to know, integrate that sense of the shadow, not leaving it behind and just knowing those parts of ourselves and what we're capable of or where we have been, what our past has been, and just be, you know, content that what we are is enough for our future. But that gives, when we do that, it also gives us space to release, surrender, let go. What really doesn't serve us? Because sometimes we're letting go of the best of us and the pieces of us that mean the most to us, just so that we can be a part of that collective energy. Don't get lost. Don't get lost in that energy. Don't let yourself get lost in, in the fear of even sometimes what we're being sold and, you know, the big shift is happening. The big changes is happening and you got to get moving now and you got to do this now and you got to be here and you got to do this. Well, change is happening regardless. And, and so just be that within yourself this week, give yourself permission. If, you know, so if you have been on you know, this evolution and changing, I know I definitely have, and not by choice. <laughs> it, it was just that sense of, it was timing and how it on, all unfolded and, and being so close to being there, like whatever that there is, and then to be pulled back and begin again. It was really truly that I had to come back and find my way into being content with the fact of who I am. And just trusting that sense of divine presence that brings us to this better place. I can't wear a mask and I can't put on a face and I can't act out something that is not authentic because then I would be going against everything that I have written, everything that I do in my books. 
is why would I have to change me to please other people? I'm not a circus act. And so why would I have to act like somebody different? Why would I have to dance around like a, like a clown? Why would I have to act out? Why would I have to put on an artificial appearance to, to be enough? And if I'm, if I'm, if I don't feel like I'm enough for me, right. If I got to try to be enough for everyone else, then I'm going to lose myself again. And do you really want to get lost in some of this energy? Remember, like the crowds are rushing. You don't have to, it's, it's like back in, I remember going to get, you know, when my daughter was small, that little, that Elmo, when Elmo first came out and everybody swarmed the malls, cabbage patch dolls, like all of that. Well, now put that in perspective into chasing, you know, chasing this, this dream of, of being this something in this new world, or that, you know, here we are in this topia of change, and you've got to change, you've got to evolve into what the world tells you you need to be. And you've got to become this and you've got to, you've got to learn the new language and you've got to speak that language. Well, no, when we, when we evolve emotionally, is that we find ourselves in this sense of evolving our words into something that aligns to who we are becoming in a more positive state being able to charge ourselves up, but we don't have to become, we don't have to become what others tell us that we have to be programmed to. And um, I'm sorry, I'm not here to be programmed. And I don't, and I refuse to be programmed to have to really truly think about the words that I have to use versus allowing the divine to speak through me to be a channel and trusting the wisdom that speaks through. So trust yourself, be honest with yourself. You know, am I really truly afraid to even speak for myself, to be able to let my authentic out, to be content with who I am now so I can get to know whether or not this is really me. And that's the energy that we do have this week. I don't know why I took away those cards. I don't want those cards. Put the cards down. Um, I think I was searching for something for a moment there. but. So as we move forward and into this week, I want to do a little bit of, of what I do, what I am getting. Um, and of course, we have had the extremes of weathers. If you watch my yearly prediction, you heard me speak about the sinister energy and how the sinister energy was very active within the earth, within on earth. Um, and the Jezebel and the imposter light and all of those things we have spoke about. So you have to go back and listen to the predictions. Um, and also this sense of like the falling of those in leadership roles or in charge of, you know, of establishments. And you're seeing like a, a falling, a collapse. You're seeing it in, in cities and towns. You're seeing it on a mass scale. You're seeing it on such a big level. I feel like you're going to see it even bigger coming into March. I think we have a lot more that is yet to happen. And we spoke about the weather. I spoke about the earthquakes and tornadoes, all this stuff hitting some really extreme temperatures, but that sinister energy um, that is everywhere. And it is still very active. And, and because it's active in the world, it's also being activated and triggered within ourselves sometimes that we want to, that we, you know, we get that that desire, that, that, that sense of, you know, I don't want to be left out or I'm being left behind, whatever that may be. And, and wherever you may notice that your, um, that your own essence of your shadows, your fears are coming in, that sense of envy, jealousy may be coming in somewhere, pay attention to it, catch it, become aware of it, because there's a lot of things that's trying to release from us as well. Um, so just let them, just don't judge your thoughts. Just let them flow. As for that sinister, um, mm, so I keep getting this sense of seeing somebody being taken from power, somebody who's been in charge. Um, I, I, there's a, somebody being taken from power is what I'm getting. I feel like I'll probably download it more in um, in the monthly, but a fall from grace. There is a fall from grace of the 
of, of like somebody very high up, but it becomes a little bit like a domino effects, really seeing the essence of a deeper collapse, like, um, like cleaning the swamp type of energy. And I feel like there's a feel like I see, I see, I feel like just shutting down and not speaking of this is what I feel like. I'm like, just shut up, Gory. Um, and so there is a clearing and cleaning of this swampy kind of energy. And I feel like this is a big establishment, whether it's political or whether it is a huge corporation, but I feel like it starts at the very top. And I feel like at the very top, you're going to be seeing, um, you know, some sense of exposure or some sense of being, um, something is being revealed, truth is being revealed. And um, the exposure of this narcissistic energy um, in actual narcissists. So, you know, it's like there's a light that is shining upon that kind of energy. And I'm just speaking of narcissists. I don't mean everyone is that narcissist. It's just those who have that try to play God are finding out they're not actually able to play out the power of God anymore that there is a divine essence of, of integrity that needs to be restored. And there's places that need to collapse. So we're seeing and bearing witness to the collapse of something. That's what it feels like to me. But I keep seeing the masses. I see everybody running from something. Everybody's trying to escape something. And I just see all these people running. And I'm like, don't run with the crowd. Whatever you do coming forward, don't get caught up in the crowd. Stand back, observe, become an observer, and just kind of wait things out a little bit or find your way, weave your way around the outskirts. Don't get lost in the shuffle of everybody, you know, whether it's a keyboard warrior, whether it is just about everybody having to have an opinion, everybody having to have like some sort of thought towards something, some sort of involvement in something, or um, everybody's, you know, or we get this, this push of, oh, you all have to do this now. You all have to do that now. No, we do not. And, um, and so, yeah, I don't know what that is either fully, but that's how I'm seeing it. So we have these things that are on a, on a bigger scale, but then, you know, bring it back into us. Where's our ego taking over? Where's our ego trying to convince us? Where's that sense of, you know, where's that, where's that loud voice that keeps trying to get us to fall from our own grace that's in that's impacting us where are we allowing ourselves to get lost in the translation of the stories where are we you know what is it within myself that is you know that maybe need to fall from its graces and to let it fall away to be done with it so that it don't keep impeding upon living from a state of humbleness um, but also a sense of being proud and confident and knowing within yourselves and so acknowledge that this week, catch that, those things this week. Um, and this, of course, is trailing into March. So I will be recording the March full message and getting that out as well. So that will follow this one. So both be coming out around about the same time. Um, we also do have a sense of that beautiful Mother Mary energy. I got the Marys, I have Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene that are very much around right now. And I feel like it's the holy realm energy. So there is the essence of the holy realm sanctified, you know, being in a place of being able to be sanctified. And, and um, I'll bring that in further later as well. But um, to kind of start walking on our own holy ground, not to be holier than thou, not to think we're better than someone else, that we are more worthy than someone else, but to be able to find that sense of, um, that you walk on your own sacred ground, that your path, your journey is sacred and only you can walk that path. Nobody else can walk it for you. Nobody else can even get the doors open. Those are yours. And the more that you get to know who you are and the more that you stay within, stay in your lane, stay in your world, right? The more that those things um, start are gonna start revealing some new truths. So I hope this message makes sense somehow. But I want to record the monthly as well and see how it all blends together. So listen for both. But have a beautiful week and much love. Bye-bye.